Hi, it's Paris from Epic Reviews, the tech channel, and I want to show you on my new Surface Pro how to get into what used to be called the BIOS. Now it's the UEFI for Unified Extensible Firmware Interface. Anyway, it's where you go to set various options of what happens to the computer before Windows actually even starts to load. And one thing that people on the more enthusiast side may be looking to get in there to adjust is the Secure Boot option. The way it's set up now with Secure Boot on, it's uh, to try to help reduce the infections that get on the Windows 8 computers by monitoring what starts up when the hard drive starts to load files so that it lets only legitimate parts of Windows 8 load and that little pesky virus or malware or whatever can't load before Windows loads because when that happens then there's no antivirus or anti-spyware sort of thing to catch it. So anyway, that's why Secure Boot is turned on. If you want to load another operating system, Windows 7, Windows XP, you want to try to put DOS on this, you're going to want to turn Secure Boot off. So whether you want to get in there for that or you want to do something else, let me take you through the steps of how to get into the UEFI. To get into those settings, have the computer completely turned off, then you need to find the volume rocker over here on the side, and for this you're going to want to hold the volume up, the one with a little plus on it, and hold that in. Then go to power and turn it on as normal. Keep holding that volume up. And here we are. That's, there are not a whole lot of settings you can fiddle with. Security device support, you can enable or disable. If you hit enter, it gives you the options for enable or disable. Now secure boot control, a lot of people will be looking for that. <clears throat> it's enabled by default to change it. You just tap enter and go up. You can also use the, uh, the mouse here. So you can enable it, disable it here. There's also uh, install default secure boot keys, delete all secure boot keys, and exit setup. And that's about it. So that secure boot control is probably what most people are looking for. That's where you turn it off and you can turn it back on later. Once you've made your changes, you go to exit setup. And it asks you, do you want to save the configuration and reset? We will say yes. There you go. Now it's going to reboot.